and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Soul High Treachery to kick off our Sunday stream today. We were going to play this again uh, the other day, uh, but didn't uh, didn't have or had to move it um, because of a donation deck. But yeah, we played this like last Sunday and it was a whole lot of fun to play. And so we're going to try it again. It felt really powerful too. So like we're playing it in ranked again, just like last time where, you know, we are using our elemental shell to get a lot of mana, get a lot of lands in play and work towards agent of treachery. So of course, as we've seen in this format, we started to see a lot of your rock with field of the dead decks, which are pretty good. You know, like those are like, it's, Certainly a, a pretty good deck. However, it's just not really my style. I don't know. Um, with the uh, the Field of the Deads and everything. And just kind of feels a little lackluster on like the draw sometimes. I don't know. So I, I wanted to play Agent of Treachery. I just wanted to get a little bit more power. And also Muldratha. And just more creatures. Um, I like playing like a lot more creatures and everything. So, you know, we're not going with... <laughs> Hawkeye saying hi. We're not going with like a Boreal Grazer and Elvish Rejuvenator and like those kind of cards. Instead, just playing good acceleration, getting our elementals in here. And we're getting um, some fun stuff with Muldratha replaying our stuff. So, yeah, like we don't, there's no, um, you know, we just have a pretty normal mana base. No Field of the Dead in our deck, but we are ramping into Agent of Treachery, trying to steal all of our opponent's stuff. And then copy Agent of Treacheries with Spark Double, Mirror Image, Quasi Duplicate. You know, we have the Neoforms. They can turn our mana creatures into Risen Reefs or like into a mirror image to copy something bigger. Um, it's just a really versatile deck. It's a nice toolbox deck. I guess we could call it that, like a toolbox deck. Um, and it's a lot of fun to play. So that's what we're going to be doing today. To start with, let's play some matches over in Ranked. They just reset rankings. It's a brand new month today. It's the first of the month. I don't know where I'm at. I haven't played any rankings, ranked matches since they reset. We just had our 12-hour sub-battle stream yesterday. You like Star of Extinction more than Agent of Treachery? So I'm now... This rank. Whatever that is. Yeah, Agent with your rock is a pretty nuts combo. Yeah, stealing two things. That was a convenient time to draw Lanor off. I wasn't doing anything else this turn anyway. All right, not as convenient now. There isn't like anything really good to get at two. So like playing like, like sacking land war off to Neo form. And we just have paradise druid and Leafkin druid. We're going to, have to slow our opponent down. Really want to draw a land next turn where I can play quasi duplicate plus Neoform. That would be awesome. That's what I really want to do. Okay. So we got that. So now we have so many options. So many options. Um, so we could like turn this into, I mean, I kind of want to chup, uh, Chupacabra again. But we could turn it into Yurok and get another Yurok. Yeah, let's just get a couple of your rocks. 
That's probably pretty good. Oh, I can only get one Yurok. Right, I can't play Spark Double. For some reason, I was thinking I was going to be able to play Spark Double this turn. I'm not playing Spark Double. I'm just playing Quasi Duplicate. Uh, yeah. I would like that card. Thank you. Finality is pretty good. We'll take an extra Chupacabra. We have a 4 6 Life Linker. So even, you know, like if they ascend and have Aspirant gain flying, we're still looking pretty strong. Yeah, so, so Spark Double, you know, could be another Yurok. So yeah, it would. Um, you can have all your stuff trigger like three times. And I think I just saved the life. Um, do I even, though? Yeah, we just saved the life. And we can just like mill out basically. Cause like this here rock. <laughs> so this is pretty crazy. Like I'm actually glad that that Risen Reef died because this is just too many cards. So, like, this Yurok is not legendary, right? So I can quasi-duplicate and copy this Yurok, which is not legendary. I think I'm going to do that, but honestly, it's too many cards. I want either honestly want this Risen Reef just to die. <laughs> that will cost Literally too many cards. All right, I guess I don't, I don't really need to play the other this Lanor all because I'm going to be finalitying. <laughs> Triple Yurok. Oh, that's crazy. Yurok Tribal. I know that that's the thing. Like, yeah, once we get an agent of treachery, just take like their their battlefield. I'm just like, thank you. I'm, that's mine now. I would like this. <laughs> oh, that was silly. Quasi duplicating a spark doubled legend. Yeah, that does not happen very often, but that was awesome. <laughs> you made this? I made this. All right, we'll get Masker Girl instead of Immortal Sun. Uh, Plague Mare in here to do something. Hostage Shaker's in here to do stuff. Uh, Finality is pretty good too. Uh, biggest thing I'm worried about, I guess, is Soren. And them just like, yeah, basically Soren. Um, so in that case, we're going to cut the Vanifar with bringing in the other four drops with the Hostage Takers. Vanifar is a tad slow. I guess Moldratha or one agent. I'll take out one agent. Um, we're going to take out one quasi duplicate. And. Either, either Muldratha. Honestly, maybe just a Cavalier of Thorns. Nah, I'm not taking out the all the treacheries. Just the one. Yeah, I'm gonna cut a Cavalier of Thorns. 
doesn't necessarily stabilize amazingly. Yeah, I should bring in Legion's End. I kind of completely glanced over Legion's End when looking at the cards in my deck. And in my sideboard, I mean. Yeah, I should bring those in. We'll be good, though, as long as this land world survives. I like Treachery here, though, as a way to deal with Soren. I know it's a really expensive answer, but still just later in the game. Like, I need I need something to deal with Soren, and Treachery can be that. Like, I could play Immortal Sun. That's... I'd rather have Treachery. Maybe I don't need both these fine finalities. I should probably cut cut one. Because finality is very slow. Should definitely like I'd rather have Legion's End than Finality. I just miss Legion's End. Alright, well drawing five drop, five drop isn't ideal. Punished pretty hard for making that block. There we go. All right, fine. We'll just have the one treachery. Get rid of a find. Get rid of the mirror image. Game number three. Alright, we'll be a little faster. But, I mean, this is... It's a little similar to what we had last time, though, with... Um, turn 1 Land War Elf. We had that last game as well. Not really, Egrok. Um, yeah, not really doing Rank Up Sunday today. Just a little bit. We're playing Ranked here with the Sultai Treachery. But we'll be back to it next Sunday and everything like that. Um, but just kind of pretty tired after the 12-hour stream yesterday. And, and so not going all out today. Very aggressive on their life total. Could 
really use another blue source to be able to quasi duplicate. Silly debating if I should attack or not. We got another blue source. But if they have just more removal here, that could be a huge problem. Now it won't be as big of a problem. Oh no, nothing has two toughness. And I can't mask a girl plus Neo form. I would love to be able to do that, but I don't have the mana. So I have to shock. Gosh, I really don't want to shock. Ugh. Okay. Alright, let's see how this works for us. Yeah, Neo forming Cal yeah, the Cavalier of Thorns token would also go to six CMC, the same as the actual Cavalier. Either one. just a suicide attack they didn't even pay the life for vanguard or anything That honestly, that could have just been a, a. I have nothing else. I'm just going to attack, and I made those blocks, 
And my opponent was like, okay, they blocked, the game's over. And just didn't even care to pay the life or anything because the game was just over. I don't know if they had nothing. I don't, I don't know why they didn't just like kind of sit back. I mean, I guess they just realized that my Moldrotha was just going to out, outgrind them. But, all right. This deck's pretty fun. It's just... It's playing Moldrotha. It's always a good time. Let's get to do some crazy stuff. And toolbox decks are always fun. Because all these games are different, you know, like these opening hands, it's like, oh, now we have now we're ramping into Immortal Sun. I guess that's our game plan this time. So probably Well, we're going Paradise Druid now. Say so probably Feather. I think I was gonna shock for Leafkin Druid just anyway, but now it's pretty easy to do Paradise Druid with the Hexproof. Unfortunately, Immortal Sun isn't spectacular against Feather. So, like, just getting this Immortal Sun out there doesn't help us too much. Ow. Sure. Does mean that we don't get to block here this turn. So I was going to be able to just tap the Paradise Druid and keep the Leafkin back as a 1-4 to block Vanguard. That's a good card to draw. Okay, I'll tap this thing. Okay, actually, I'm not going to copy it. I was planning on copying it, but actually, I'm going to wait. Because it just costs them, like, the four life. I'm just going to wait. This could be a pretty nice turn. So the Leafkin Druid just adds mana for us. Because, you know, we play it, and now this adds two. I guess it has to add blue and green. And then we quasi-duplicate the Chupacabra. So it comes in and we get double, double Chup trigger. All right, definitely want these Legion's Ends. I want this Negate. This is going to be a harder match for sure. Feather can be really tough if they... You know, get their Feather God's Willing stuff set up. I guess this can kill Feather if we have a bunch of mana creatures. Cut Immortal Sun, cut an Agent. I don't, I don't know about Find Finality. 
f I'm not sure about this fine finality. You want me to ego feather? Hey, what's up, After Wizard? I think I'd rather ego God's Willing. But I don't think I want to ego either. Um, one treachery. Hey, stream started off well. Starting off well. We're in match number two. After winning our first match. And yeah, we have some fun decks to play today. Got some different ones. No acceleration. Quasi duplicate is kind of dead for, for a while, but basically keeping because of Legion's End, even with no acceleration. Hey, Vorpal. A couple of good draws. Another blue source, then a Risen Reef. A couple of pretty good draws. Alright, so I just got a bunch of creatures over here. So we'll have five mana next turn, but we won't be able to Cavalier, So, but we will be able to play an Overgrown Tomb and Tapped and Choop. I wonder if it's better to Choop War Boss or Arcanist. I guess War Boss, where we're at right now. But if they have a spell, they get to put in the graveyard. Or get to pump Arcanist. That's problematic. Alright, is it too light is it worth two life to play Land of War Elf? Next turn we'd have six mana with Land War Elf. Yeah, I mean, next turn we'd have to shock for Cavalier anyway. Mm. No, I think I think we keep Lanwar Elf in hand. If we draw a blue source, we could double duplicate um, and discard the Lanwar Elf. Well, I should have shocked for Lanor Elf. Then I could shock here again. I mean, we'd, we'd go to four, but I could shock again for Feather. But I can't really play Hostage Taker because it dies immediately to this this thing.
Well, got got really punished for not playing the elf last turn. Yeah, if they would have killed the elf, though, we would have been able to, we would, our troop would have survived and would have been able to quasi duplicate, quasi duplicate troop that would have killed feather. So yeah, just overall, really wish I would have shocked last turn for land war elf. All right, so we have to do this. Where if they want to use Reckless Rage, it kills one of the, their creature, and they don't get it back. If they just draw a land here, we're good. Pretty good. Good for a while. Good for a little bit. Good until they draw a shock. Cavalier Knight would be would be fine in the deck. Uh, I ended up just getting rid of it though because we are like I like Chupacabra more. Um, we've seen how good Chupacabra is at like the four mana and automatically killing it, not having to sacrifice a creature. Um, yeah, haven't haven't really felt like I wanted or like needed Cavalier Knight ever. Wait, so how's this gonna work? Do I get to jumpstart quasi duplicate something and then put it back in my hand with feather? But I can't, I can't, I can't discard these cards though. They're too good to discard. Is that how this is gonna work? Yeah, I tried to do it. I know it's it's better to get Yurok in, in play for the life link probably, but yeah, I tried to do it immediately. Yeah, I think that goes back to my hand. Does have infinite hostage shakers? Man, this deck's pretty broken. I don't have anything for the Arcanist, right? No, I think you're just gonna sit back. I don't know, I'm worried about haste stuff. I guess I could have actually caught, wow, that goes back to my hand. Wow. The Yurok Feather Hostage Shaker Quasi Duplicate deck is broken. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. 
If you ever want to try your, your Rock Feather Hostage Taker Quasi Duplicate deck. <laughs> Five color Feather. It's broken. What's up, Pit? I'm going to play your, your deck up next here, Pit, the Naya Glass. Yeah, Quasi Duble gets 3 CMC. Yep. <laughs> we gotta make that deck now. This is pretty broken. All right, we'll take it. Stabilized at one life there last game. Are you sure, Matthew? I feel like we played Five Color Reborn just like a week or two ago. Like, not that long ago. If you neoform the mirror image, do you get the three plus the one from the card itself or the copied mana cost? So yeah, neoform is... No, you don't You don't get the three from quasi-duplicate. Like, whenever you quasi-duplicate a creature, whatever, your creature is just a copy of that other that other creature so it has the CMC of whatever you quasi duplicate. So if you quasi duplicate a leaf can it has CMC two. So that neo forming the copy would get you to three. And so on. So like the quasi duplicate has nothing to do with after you copy the creature, that CMC thing has nothing to do with the copy of the card anymore. Alright, so it looks like our opponent's doing some Jun stuff. Mm. Mm. I could see that card being very useful. I could see that card not being that useful. We'll just put it to the bottom. If I could see them you know, just playing removal, killing my stuff, I want to find it back. Could have seen them like playing like a Nissa, and I want the finality to clear off like a bunch of stuff. All right, we get to shuffle it back in. At least it's not on the bottom of the library, so that's cool. Oh, yeah, same thing. Mirror image is the same as quasi duplicate. Same thing. Exact same thing. It just, whenever you're the copy of the creature, you have the CMC of the creature. Tokens don't always have CMC zero. That's incorrect. Tokens have this, the same CMC of whatever they're co like. Co tokens that are copies of creatures have the CMC of the copy of the creature. Um, do I want to agent a treachery the Paradise Druid, or do we want to just start? I think we just start Risen Reefing. So I'd rather Mirror Image Risen Reef this turn than play Cavalier Thorns. But the problem with playing Mirror Image here, of course, is they could have instant speed removal and then they just get to two for one me. Like if that's like another Assassin's Trophy or something, if that's instant speed removal.
Sure. Uh, there's not any specific deck that you need to use to get into Mythic. There's... Um, there's a lot of good decks you can be playing. Kind of depends on what you like to play, what your style is, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to get the find. I feel like other creatures are going to be dying and everything. We already have a Yurok in the graveyard that's a good target, but then if we have Risen Reef or Agent of Treachery die... I need some well, that exiles Risen Reef. So I could Immortal Sun, or just steal it. Yoink. Considered doing the minus three and just killing both of their creatures and killing my Agent of Treachery, and then, you know, being able to rebuy Agent of Treachery. Get out of my way. Alright, we're gonna do that now. <clears throat> well, quasi duplicate cannot copy a legendary creature. I mean, you you only get one of them. The only thing that can copy like the legendary thing in the deck is the spark double. I mean, quasi duplicate and mirror image work just like you think like they work the same way. All right, so they look like a I guess a Jund land destruction deck. I guess. Basically, I think we're going to be just fine. From everything we saw there. And they probably have like bedevils. So I don't know like how good Immortal Sun's gonna be. That would be my assumption. I guess they're probably gonna be like Nissa though. I'm just going to bring in a couple more top end cards with a find and an immortal sun and cut a chupacabra in a neoform. Yeah, I think like land destruction with trophy is in, you know, like trophy destroys field of the dead, you know, so I think it's like anti field of the dead land destruction kind of thing. They want to destroy all the Field of the Deads. Oh, they are a Field of the Dead deck also. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, that's our plan, is to steal Field with Agent of Treachery. Alright, oh, they were four color. They had white in their deck also. Uh, 
Um, I don't think I don't really think the one nexus is necessary for the for the grindy matchup to ensure you don't mill out. Haven't like you just steal all their stuff with agent of treachery. Like those kind, of, like those are like the matchups that we want to be facing anyway. Like we're we're good there. We don't really need um, a nexus. Naismith, happy Sunday. You're having a nice, relaxing Sunday. And Tom, Tom Prios, with the resub as well. Y'all are awesome. Thanks for the support, everybody. Hello, Nabo. Huh. Yeah, Kitty, I don't know why yours does that. There's that bedevil we were talking about. I have Moldratha. I have one Moldratha at 6 CMC. So we have to make sure this Cavalier of Thorns doesn't kill us. Which can be tricky. If I shock next turn, I would have the mana to cast Find. They want Bedevil. So do I let I think I let them bedevil. Yeah. Yeah, I'll let them bedevil. Okay. Cool little trade there. They're taking Chandra? What are they doing? Chandra? That gives me like a really good target to steal. And obviously it can't be activated with the Mortal Sun. Is this, this has gotta be Assassin's Trophy in hand. No, because even then, it's not... Assassin's Trophy doesn't force you to shuffle. Okay, it was Assassin's Trophy, but it doesn't force you to shuffle. Give me that. Oh yeah, five color feather definitely a thing. Yeah, already determined that's pretty broken. No matter what. 
Oh, whoops. I should have done this first. Could have got an extra zombie, oh well. I think we're doing fine. Our deck's pretty broken. Rank up. Rank up Sunday. To spark. It's like level up Sunday. Ooh, we, we about to get those Chandra sleeves. Whoa, we're real close. We're at level 99. Let's get those Chandra sleeves. GG's. What's up, Doom Waffle? Thanks for that resub. You are awesome, Doom Waffle. Seven months now. Thank you so much for that continued support. We're already halfway to our sub goal. Hey, Boot. Yeah, that's something we can do. Yeah, Vanifar just is just a great value card that just, you know, turns, like, the Leafkin Druids into Risen Reefs. It's, like, the biggest thing it does. And then, and then you know, turns Risen Reefs into Chupacabras to kill stuff or, yeah, goes and finds Moldratha that's just crazy and, yeah. You just get to do tons of stuff. Ah, uh, we need reliquary towers for the feathers. Gotcha. <laughs> I'll take the land. Yeah, when you, whenever you write a, I don't, I don't know exactly what y'all are talking about in chat, but when you have a bunch of legendaries with the same name in play at the same time, and you have to choose one to keep and sacrifice the rest, all the ones that that die, they all see each other die. So if they have a die trigger, they would all trigger that die trigger kind of thing. Uh, Deckmaster should be working, as far as I know. Oh no, Soren! Vampire's good card. No. I don't like Vampire's good card. So plan, yeah, that's what I mean, legendary, oh, the, yeah, the ETB triggers, same kind of thing, I think, like they all enter and stuff. <laughs> Sorry, Boot. I bestow a mighty curse. Uh, down to eight. Yuck. Ow. Why is the Soren card so good? It's the only good card that they have. Uh, obviously, that's not correct, but there's nothing else in their deck that's really going to beat us. But this card will. And it and it is currently. Hmm. I guess I need your rock in for lifelink. I guess about to pay two life. I 
could just be dead. Good. Hit lands. Hit more lands. There we go. Give me this choop. We need help from, from some puppy dogs. Other option I could have done was just sacrifice the Risen Reef to get Chupacabra, then quasi-duplicate Chupacabra. I still kill two things, and I have two Chupacabras. So basically, this line, I paid two life, and then got your rock, which got me which drew me the two cards. Um, and so then I have your rock Chupacabra. So I could have been at eight, and then I would not have had the extra two lands, and I would have had Chup Chup. So it's looking better how we get the to attack with your rock and with the lifelink. <laughs> yeah, Kimpachi, this deck's pretty sweet. We just get to do so much stuff with this. That's what toolbox do. Toolbox toolbox decks do. There we go. Lots of stuff. You're a dead Choop, but you will come back. Have faith. All right. So many lines. So what do we got? We got five mana right now. So we could see if Cavalier of Thorns hits a land, which it will. Hmm. So many lines. So many lines. So many lines. All right, we're going to start with the obvious one. Gain three life and attack this thing. Is that even the obvious one? Probably not. Okay. Oh, yeah, we get two of you, two of these triggers also. Forgot we get that second trigger. That's pretty good. So I'm pretty sure we're going to hit a land. Muldratha, no! No, I was planning on going and getting you, Muldratha. I'm not shocking. No. I was going to sack Cavalier Thorns and get, go get Muldratha. I mean, I guess I can still do that. Yeah, we could have also gotten Risen Reef. Spark Double. All right, so we got to put Muldrotha back on top. Play a land. We only got that one land in the graveyard. Huh. But where are you going, opponent? Where are you going? I could have shocked there for Risen Reef. That was that was my next plan was I was just gonna play land and then Risen Reef from the graveyard. But we just had the shock land and I just didn't want to shock, so I didn't so I was just gonna play the O3 and next turn do some more other really crazy stuff. Where the next turn I 
could sack the Muldratha, get Agent of Treachery, and then quasi or quasi duplicate or mirror image or whatever's in our hand, copy the Agent of Treachery with your Auk in play, steal the Soren. What's Neoform doing? Turning these two mana things into Risen Reefs and Risen Reefs into Chupacabra. You know, all the same stuff the Vanfar just did. Just does stuff. All right, get some hostage takers. And Masker Girl. Okay. All right, out. We're going to take out two treacheries, one Immortal Sun. Taking out. Take out that Cavalier last time. And take out Vanifar. A duplicate, a Neoform. And where does that leave us at? 61. All right, it's between Mirror Image, Spark Double, Cavalier Thorns. I think the mirror image. No, I want that. I'm gonna take out. Oh no no no! I don't need that. Okay. Yeah, without yeah without Vanifar, I don't need that. Okay, that can go. Yeah, Boo, you can just give me the song. Boo, you have good song requests. Just give me your song requests. You're good. I've had your last couple to the, the playlist. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I was taking out Vanifar on the draw, thinking it could be a little slow, but honestly, Vanifar maybe isn't slow because as we saw there that last game, Vanifar found me like Chupacabras and stuff. Um, And you can just tell me the, with the song request, you can just tell me like the artist in the song because I have to look it up on Spotify. Also, I can't use YouTube. All right, so I got double lieutenant. Oh yeah, Veil. Vale. Oh, absolutely, Veil vale works against their removal. Absolutely, Veil's vale's not a bad card in this matchup. We have, I mean, we have more than sixty cards that I would like to be playing, but we can, we can only play sixty. But yeah, Veil, vale, Veil vale is perfectly reasonable. Lend you my strength. Till All right, looks like maybe we're going to game three. will cleave the darkness. Seven. Looks like that song is not. Looks like that version of that song is not available on Spotify, like they took it off or something. So they're going Gideon, also, huh?
Mortal Stone's not very good against Gideon. You can still just be a 4 4 that attacks. All right, game three. Come on, deck. Hey, what's up, Drew? Thanks for staying on that streak there. Keeping that sub going. I appreciate that. Our six of the day. So now we'll know if we need to no, if we need to legions end this thing also or if we just want to play the temple yeah I think we legions end that thing too I mean they get to legions end my paradise druid though hmm Why would it be now or never? Why would I not be able to just legions end next turn? No, I'm playing my land. Let me play my land. Gross. I was I was so confused. Sorry, I was just so confused by that statement of it's it's now or never for Legion's End, and I couldn't I couldn't comprehend how like what that statement meant. Like we couldn't get these two, and I, I was just so confused, and I I, I just I kind of froze there. Like Legion's End wouldn't still exile these two. We gave them like another draw step to like maybe draw another Vanguard. Also. So if I would have played my temple last turn, we would have just played Breeding Pool and tapped this past turn, and then we wouldn't have had to pay the two life to play the Vanifar. So that's a little unfortunate. Um... So yeah, so we shouldn't have had to pay the two life there, but oh well.
Okay. They didn't, didn't kill my Vanifar, so we get a Paradise Druid that cannot be Legion's ended. So that's good. I'm definitely behind where I should have been if I would have been able to play like that other land and stuff, I think. I don't know. I, I played that one turn just really bad. But, well. but yeah, we gotta, gotta try to survive this Knight of the Ebon Legion, which won't be super easy. If I block here, I just waste their turn. Um, I'm planning on playing Yurok over Muldrotha no matter what. Even if we draw a land, I want to play Yurok first. So... I feel like wasting their turn is a good idea. Nah. It's kind of likely to just activate that thing anyway. No. Ah, Soren. Darn. Wish I would have wa wasted their turn. Oh, man. Wow, that was like the worst case scenario. Those are their two cards. We're Soren Champion. Wow, that went absolutely terribly for me. Wow, that went really bad. Well, um, gotta hope no removal over there for this Yurok. Certainly hoping no removal. My bloodline flows through you. Of course, they drew into removal. Come on. More removal. Alright, I need to just play this game. I played this game very poorly. I need to just play the game. I was so distracted there by that sentence in chat. Yuck. Alright, three and one. We're playing one more match. But yeah, that was that was really bad that their last two cards were Soren Champion that drew double removal spell. But that could not have gone any worse. I should have just blocked with the two one. Oh yeah, of course I I deserve that loss. Yeah. I didn't I didn't play well. Thaumatic compass. Alright, we're talking. Blue source? No. One another blue wanna be able to quasi duplicate Risen Reef if possible.
No, I... Alright, I need to get my head back in this. That, that's a bad turn, because of Ritual of Soot. That's a really bad turn that I just had there. Okay, it wasn't rit Ritual of Soot. We got lucky. Because what I should have done... I should have played the Leafkin Druid, but then instead of playing the other Leafkin Druid, Neo formed the one Leafkin Druid to go grab... Um, go grab Risen Reef. I guess I could just steal a land... If they didn't Ritual of Sit last turn, they probably don't have it for this turn. When I do ranked, I, I usually play five matches before switching decks. And then these other ones, though, we're going to be playing leagues. And so it'll be either five wins or two losses, whichever comes first with those. I didn't want to play the druid. I didn't want I didn't really want more creatures out on the battlefield against the control deck. So yeah, I could have played Paradise Druid was free because yeah, playing Paradise Druid meant the Leafkins added two mana there. But I, I didn't want to just I didn't want to play the Paradise Druid. So I play mono black stuff. Hasa Shaker good against artifacts. Okay, we need less of the copy stuff against control deck. Probably less Chupacabra also, especially if we already have Hostage Taker anyway and Agent of Treachery. We'll probably just take those out. Um, Helm of Multiplication. It's like Helm of the Host. With what? What's the multiplication part? Yeah, Agent of Treachery is pretty ridiculous. We'll get you later, Muldratha. Don't you worry. I have 62? No, I have 60, right? 53 plus 7 here. I have 60. That's my card. Give me that. I don't really like. I'm just kind of using the hostage taker here. I don't really mind if they kill hostage taker. We have fine. They can just they'll just bring it back. I know we don't get to play this thematic compass.
And, you know, I'm planning on playing fine next turn to get back both of my creatures so they don't get anything from Eldest Reborn. Love it. All right, there you're going, Dread Presence. Sweet. No! Oh, that's a killer. Oh, uh, that's a killer. All right, well, at least we have a Mortal Sun in play that will... Ooh, look at that. A piece of candy. Dang it. I want both these cards. That's a good one. One with Sultai Treachery. It's a close loss, too. Could have been a 5-0. I would have played better. I didn't quite play well enough for the 5-0, though. Um, but yeah, Agent of Treachery does some pretty crazy things. And just the whole deck. So much value in this deck. Yeah, you like this one? Yeah, I like this deck, too. This is certainly a fun deck. Um, yeah, there's just there's just so many options in the deck and everything. Uh, maybe being a little bit better or having something like being a little bit better against Planeswalkers like three mana Soren. Um, but overall, uh, you know, we went what one and one against vampires, or did we go two and one? I think one and one against vamp. Yeah, one and one against vampires. Uh, and the uh, the matchup felt pretty good though, like as as a matchup. Maybe two and one. I don't remember this. Um, but yeah, so that's Soul Tide Treachery. A uh, lot of fun with this deck. Um, I'm gonna continue to play this. I think this is gonna be my ranking up deck of choice for a little bit, um, for like the time being. So this is this seems like a, a nice uh, rank up deck. And, um, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I remember, so like, this is the second time we played it. Last time we played it, it was the same kind of thing. We, we lost, we went four and two last time we played it. We played six matches and like one, one of the losses was like, uh, game, game two, drawing all lands, game three, drawing no lands or, or like one of the, or like, you know, like one of those kind of things, like where it was just, it was really just really bad draws. One of the losses. And then one, of, and then like the other loss was my fault. And I felt like that, that other loss that we had here was my fault also, so, um, yeah, really strong deck, and um, I'm really liking it. So the question is, do you think this deck would have a shot in best of one? I feel like you'd need to be more anti-aggro in best of one. Like, maybe instead of, like, the, instead of so many quasi-duplicates and, like, mirror image spark double kind of stuff, more legions ends in the main deck for best of one. So I would I would kind of go like pre-boarded 
to like mono red and vampires best of one um like maybe just play two agent of treachery instead of three maybe not play the find finality that kind of stuff um yeah the deck doesn't need immortal sun at all um replacements are you know kind of anything um again like yeah kind of anything like maybe just playing a hostage shaker in the main um there are just so many good cards like from like the three to five mana slots like so many good creatures and everything and if you're not playing a mortal sun you can play a planeswalker you know you can play you know if you want anissa or a vraska golgari queen or anything like that in ugin um you know ugin liliana like those cards are great you i mean there's so many good rares and mythics in these colors just if you don't want to, if you don't have a mortal sun it's about to rotate out you know play anything else <laughs> You can play whatever you want. That's the great part about these toolbox decks. You can you can play what you want. Um, but yeah, that's Soul Tide Treachery. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.